Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Tasonaki. Today I'm going to set up my November monthly spread, my sticker explosion across two pages. I do have out one page from Brooklyn Post. That's the autumn page that I purchased from her shop. And then I also have some of the small Happy Planner stickers, um, the small sticker books. And I'm kind of trying to figure out what I wanna do this time. I think that I am going to, well, I'm definitely going to stick to my theme, my large stickers, and then I think I might go with a more fall vibe for the deco. Uh, let's get started with the larger stickers first, of course, and build the spread around that. All right, as I get started, of course, the first thing I'm going to look for is a large box with plenty of space for writing. I found this beautiful green box with flowers in the corners. And I noticed, I don't know if anybody else notices this, but I noticed that I stop, I start in this bottom left corner of the page on the right side. I wonder why that is. I'm going to have to pay attention and see if this is something I do um, every single time. I think for October, I did it as well. I don't remember if I did it for September, but I just thought that was kind of funny that I noticed that. Um, and then I put down a sticker horizontally, and then I put down this other sticker in the top right corner. Um, I love finding the bigger boxes, and I have actually been using these dashboard stickers. I think in one of the recent videos, I said I didn't know what dashboard planning was, and I discovered it. It is one of the Happy Planner ways of planning and they have I think the dashboard is like on the left side you get one I don't know if it's a page okay maybe I don't know that much about it <laughs> um, I think you get the week on the right side of the um, layout when you open up when you open the happy planner and the left side is like a dashboard and so then you have several different sections of like to do or lists and stuff like that I saw a couple of pictures in a different video um, that somebody had done, somebody who does happy planner planning, um, that is different, you know, than the bullet journal planning. So, um, but I also got out my pip stickers and I feel like this layout, it, this just came together so quickly. Um, I really stuck with kind of subtle colors. Um, nothing is like super bright and in your face, kind of drifting toward fall, fall, or I guess we're in the middle of fall in the beginning. Well, no, fall starts in September. So we're solidly into fall um, and it is really nice. And uh, yeah, so I stuck with like some subtle colors. I don't think I used that green sticker that I put back because it was just a little too bright for me. Um, it was just too much for, for this spread. So you can see I've got a lot of like sage greens, light pink, light blues. And I love this spread. It turned out so nicely. Uh, it, like I said, it came together so fast. This video is not that long because uh, it came together so quickly. This was definitely a, um, this is one where I used tons and tons of plants and flower stickers, floral stickers. Um, I, I found the larger boxes and the other boxes really quickly. And then I was able to move on to um, the deco part of things. Uh, I did use a half circle on one of these um, on the right page here and I thought that was just like a cute little addition and then it left me with a bunch of space in between that sticker next to it for even more um, deco. So I always count my boxes and see how many I have because I like to have plenty of writing space. I think this time I ended up with the most I've had all year actually. Uh, if you look at the page I only have two really large boxes. And then I have the dashboard box and then the rest are, I guess, like rectangle size and then a few smaller. So definitely more writing space in this spread. Um, I have not, as of recording the video um, I, or as of posting the video, I have not filled it in yet. I really wait till the end, end of the month to transfer things over. And I don't know why that is. I think maybe it's just the idea of um, like getting set up for the next month and I just kind of do it all at the same time when I plan my first week of the bullet journal in the uh, for that week then I go back and I plan or I transfer everything into my monthly spread and again I recorded this video while visiting with one of my girlfriends and uh, she and I do keep in touch with each other and we try to 
uh, do video chat maybe you know once a month or every few weeks and uh, this spread just came together so quickly while we were visiting and just talking about life and catching up and I do a lot of talk talking with my hands so you see me kind of pause with the stickers and kind of gesture and stuff like that. I know I did that in the October video too because I was able to talk to her at that same time. Uh, so you see me pulling out these are the pip stickers and this is um, really nice to work with. These stickers are great quality. This is the subscription. Uh, you get a really large bundle of stickers from pip stickers and um, I also really like it because before I take them off the page, I can hold it up against the page and see like what will fit where because they're on clear, transparent uh, paper. Well, it's not paper. It's like acetate or something. But whatever it is, it's clear. And so you can just kind of hold it over your page and see where you're going to be able to fit something. So that worked out really nicely for the arrows that I put down because I put them in specific places. And um, while I do like layering, I did a lot of layering in the October spread. I don't think I did nearly as much layering in this one, um, but this is just like covered with uh, plants and uh, flowers and stuff like that. So it just turned out so nice. Look at it coming together. I put a lot of little tiny stickers all right clustered next to each other um, in between the larger stickers on the right side of the page. And I think that it's going to just look so good. So how is your month going? We have um, Halloween coming up and uh, I'm pretty sure that we're going to participate in like a trunk or treat situation. We live in town. We don't live on the military base where it's more, um, you know, like the American holidays are definitely celebrated on the military base. And in town we live, we live amongst Germans. And so Halloween is not really a thing for, um, for other countries. And it was not a thing in France when we lived in France. And that kind of threw us off a little bit because that was our first experience of being overseas. Um, and it was the first time that my kids, if I remember right, it was the first time the kids did not like dress up. And I really, um, when we lived in the States, I went out of my way and I used to make their costumes and I sewed them and worked together. And sometimes they had coordinating costumes and one year they were all Angry Birds and the Green Pig from the Angry Birds game and stuff like that. So um, moving overseas, it was a little bit different and kind of not hard to get used to, but just different. And so once we were around other Americans again, uh, we were able to participate again. And the kids really like dressing up and they like, you know, hanging out with their friends and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure we're going to do the trunk or treat, which is at one of the schools. And I think there's a couple different events or maybe even a few different events because there are multiple military bases uh, in our area. So we'll see what we actually finally end up doing. I think everything's on the same day. So that'll be interesting. You can't go to um, more than one, which is fine, which is totally fine. I, we do not need to go to multiple <laughs> Halloween trick or treating things. Um, so here I'm, at, I'm getting closer to the end of the spread and doing this final touches again with the pip stickers and the floral and the cactus. Um, and it just, Oh, it looks so good. I just love this spread so much. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn the notifications on so you don't miss any videos from me. Have a great day.